James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 11th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. J.D. Vance expertly turns the tables on CNN's Dana Bash. Sunday morning, reminding us why President Trump selected Senator J.D. Vance, Republican, Ohio, as his running mate after turning the tables on CNN's Dana Bash when she tried to ambush him. Determined to paint Vance in a corner, a hostile Bash peppered him with a series of questions over harmless comments he made years ago while ignoring the serious questions surrounding Kamala Harris and her running mate Tim Waltz. But Vance kept his cool and destroyed Harris and Waltz while Bash pouted. Colin Rugg tweeted out, New J.D. Vance shreds VP Kamala Harris, Tim Walsh, and even Dana Bash during an interview on CNN. Vance calls out Waltz for stolen valor, says he did it for political gain. Vance rips Harris for refusing to sit down for a TV interview, calls Bash out for asking him about things he said three years ago. Vance calls Harris a chameleon, says she becomes whatever people want her to become. Vance sets the record straight on his comments regarding childless people. Vance says he is eager to debate Tim Waltz. Dana, I, I criticize his lying about his own record, okay? This is a guy who was captured on video saying, I carried a gun in war. He never went to war. This is a guy who's been captured on video. As other people say, he's an Afghanistan veteran. He's a veteran of a war, nodding along in agreement instead of saying, no, 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 I did serve my country and I did it honorably, but I never went to a war zone. I'm not criticizing Tim Waltz's service. I'm criticizing the fact that he lied about his service for political gain, Dana. You now asked me three questions about comments that I made three years ago. Uh -huh. I wonder what Kamala Harris thinks about the fact that she supported policies that opened the American Southern border. I wonder what Kamala Harris thinks about the fact that she lied to the American people you, about Harris. Joe Biden's middle, middle facility for the office. You are interviewing me, Dana, because I respect the American people enough to sit down for an interview. I appreciate that. Kamala Harris has been the nominee for three weeks. She hasn't sat down for a real Believe interview. Me, we are asking. But the point is, Dana, you've got me for 15 minutes or however long you have me. We should be talking about public policies that matter. How are we going to lower inflation? How are we going to reduce the cost of food and housing? How are we going to close down that southern border? We've talked so little about that. We've talked a lot more about a sarcastic remark I made three years ago. I think we should talk about the issues that most Americans care. Kamala Harris is whatever she says she is. But I believe, importantly, that President Trump is right that she's a chameleon. She pretends to be one thing in front of one audience. She pretends to be something different in front of another audience. But then she's not running a political campaign. She's running a movie. She only speaks to voters behind a teleprompter. Everything is scripted. She doesn't have her policy positions out there. She hasn't answered why she wanted to ban fracking, but now she doesn't. She wanted to fund police, but now she doesn't. She wanted to open the border, but now she doesn't. She should have to answer for why she presents a different set of policies to one audience and a different set of policies to another audience. And I think that's what President Trump is getting at. This is a fundamentally fake person. She's different depending on who she's in front of. And I criticize people for not having kids. I criticize people for being anti-child. And I do think that Kamala Harris she's has made some bizarre statements. She has said things like, it's reasonable not to have children over climate change. I think it's the exact opposite message we should be sending to our young families. I want to expand the child tax credit. I want to stop those surprise medical bills. I want to make housing more affordable so that if you have a young family, you can actually afford to put them in a home. And I think that it is unfortunate that so much of our public leadership has become anti-family. One final point on this, Dana, if you go back to the COVID era, one thing that really frustrated me, please. Are you going to debate Tim Waltz? Of course. I want to debate Tim Waltz. I think it's important. And I think that it goes to a very fundamental difference between the Trump Vance ticket and our opposition. We believe in talking to the media. We believe in answering questions. We believe in debating. I think it's really important. I mean, look, I'm asking the American people to make me their vice president. It's really important to stand before the American people to make that case, and I'm going to keep on doing it in whatever form I get the opportunity. So thank forward you. To it. Thank you so much Thanks, for Dana. sitting down and taking my of questions. Thank you for coming here. And there you have it, someone that will actually answer questions 
and take accountability. Unbelievable. Let's get him into office one way or another. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.